Christmas is coming up, which means it's the season of giving. Personally, I love giving out houseplants as gifts. I want to get as many people obsessed with houseplants as possible. So far, it hasn't really worked. No one has gotten as obsessed as me, <laughs> but I still love giving them as gifts. And generally, when I give them to people, they enjoy them and they send me updates on how their plants are doing, which I really do appreciate. And an example of this gift giving thing is my cousin so I think it was for her birthday or something I gave her a, a golden pothos that's usually the first plant that I will get someone and see how they do with that so golden pothos are probably one of the easiest plants to take care of ever they're so simple and they grow so quickly so it's very rewarding to grow especially for a new plant parent um, since they only have one plant to focus on being able to see new growth is really uplifting and it's very encouraging. Well, in my opinion, at least that was my first plant or maybe my first plant was a spider plant, but regardless, golden pothos are a perfect first plant gift. Now that Christmas is coming up, she has told me that her golden pothos is thriving. So in my head, I'm like, okay, she can handle a couple more plants. Um, and so I'm going to show you what gifts I'm going to be giving to her and why I chose these plants. So first off, I have this um, spider plant. This is a reverse variegated spider plant. I always get them mixed up. I bought the mother plant a couple months ago because it's the only type of spider plant that I don't have. And I love how the variegation looks on it. It might be my favorite, actually. I don't know why it took me so long to get it. Um, but as soon as I bought it, I took a propagation and this is how it's doing right now. So I think it's ready to go to a new home with my cousin. I don't need this little propagation of it because I already have the mother plant. Honestly, I might even end up giving her the mother plant and just keeping this baby because as long as I have the plant, honestly, probably a smaller one would be better for me to keep, but we'll see what ends up happening. I'm not sure yet. So I know my cousin's busy and probably one of the reasons that her golden pothos is thriving is because she doesn't have time to overwater it. So this is a plant that can handle not being watered for long periods of time. They're very robust plants. <laughs> Similar to a golden pothos, they need very little attention, very little care, and they will keep on living. And I made sure that this propagation is fully rooted and not likely to die anytime soon. So this baby has been growing in here for a couple months. I feel like he's ready to go to a new home. So we got this spider plant. And then I also have this plant, <laughs> which I need to make look nicer. She told me that she wanted a snake plant. So here we go. I'm giving her two. They're probably not the kind of snake plant she was expecting, but I think regardless, this is a pretty cute plant. And this is for if you have a plant you've been neglecting and you know that you can give it a better home to someone else. So we're gonna revive this together to make it look good enough to be a gift because I don't think people who aren't plant parents would be like excited to get a plant that's like half dead. So we got to fix it up, but got a snake plant and then I have another plant to fix up, which is this snake plant as well. These are all plants that can be left alone for long periods of time without water. As you can see, he even has a little Santa hat to put the little festive spirit. So this is another one I need to properly pot up and make look nice. And then lastly, I'm going to give her this philodendron green emerald. This is a propagation I took and it's grown pretty large. I don't really have space for it. And I feel like she would enjoy this plant much more than I'm enjoying it right now. <laughs> Cause I'm just looking at it like I have two of you guys already and one of you is taking up too much space. So it's a really gorgeous plant. I love it so much, but I already have one. And you know, sometimes I just take propagations thinking I'm gonna give this plant to someone. Originally this was supposed to be for my friend, but she lives in Hawaii. And so I'm just gonna give it to my cousin. <laughs> if my friend wants this plant, I could just take more propagation. So there we go. 
This is just a bigger plant in case she wants a bigger plant. Plants are really beautiful as decoration in your home, as long as, you know, they're getting proper lighting and everything. So maybe she wants like a bigger plant to be more of a statement. This one is also a very hardy plant. It's been under my care, which means that it's really used to getting watered very infrequently. <laughs> so it's all prepped to go to my cousin's house and then hopefully none of these plants gets overwatered. Usually, as you might know, the biggest cause of a plant's death is overwatering. And since she didn't overwater the golden pothos, I'm sure she won't overwater these. But either way, she can always, you know, text me and ask me what's like, what does this plant need? So I'm here to help if she needs me. But otherwise, I feel like these are very easy plants and there's only four of them. I don't know, I hope I'm not growing her collection too quickly from one plant to five. Yeah, these are the plants I'm gonna give to her. And now we can get to kind of fixing up the two snake plants that are not looking very good. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is repot this baby. It has fallen out of its pot so many times and the pot is too small for it now. <laughs> So I got a little, a slightly bigger pot. I didn't want to make it too big because I don't want the soil to hold too much water. Um, but I'm just gonna peel back these old leaves. I'm gonna leave this alone because I don't know where the healthy roots are located in this. And I'm just gonna put a really chunky mix in here. Okay, so already this looks literally so much better, but this just needs some water and it's gonna firm up in no time. And then this plant, which has also fallen out of its pot, <laughs> needs to be placed in this pot. Um, I already have a bottom layer because the drainage hole is very big. that's in there nicely and I'm gonna just try this out I've never really done this before but I feel like um, it could look nice I have some um, I can't remember what it's called but I'm gonna see how it looks as a top dressing and I think that makes it look a little more polished Personally, I'm not a fan of this look, honestly, after seeing it. Um, maybe she'll like it though. I don't know. I don't think it looks good, probably because I know what it is. And it just literally looks like I put a bunch of perlite on top. Let's not forget the hat though. Where's the hat? Oh, it kind of looks like snow, maybe. There we go. <laughs> But you can see this plant is kind of dehydrated too. Like both of these are kind of dehydrated and this is why they need to go to a better home for them. So I'm gonna sit these plants in water. I'm gonna let them bottom, bottom water, drink up all that water. They're gonna rehydrate and I'm gonna be able to give them to my cousin. And it looks so cute. I think all of these plants together, it's a really good combo of, well, she said she wanted snake plants. So I'm assuming she kind of likes how, I don't know if you can hear my cat eating in the background, <laughs> but he's chewing. Um, so I can assume she likes the look of snake plants. This is probably the kind of snake plant she was thinking of, um, but I wanna see how she likes this one. And I gave her an aeroid, so that's kind of different. Another plant I would give her is a ZZ plant, but I don't have any extras to give her. I didn't purchase anything for this. I just had all of this stuff. So I would give her a ZZ plant or I would have given her other plants that don't need so much attention. If she was someone who overwatered her plants, I would probably give her a peace lily, a African violet, a begonia, some plant that needs a lot of water, but so far she's been doing fine and her schedule sounds like it could use some plants that don't need that much watering. And I feel like a spider plant also looks pretty different. So she has a nice array of different kind of looks for plants. Um, so let me arrange them all so we can all see them together. Probably should have done that in the first place. So here we go. We got a variety of sizes and styles for everything. So these are the plants that are chosen to give to a beginner plant parent. The only plant that I know of that she has is her golden pothos. So 
hopefully she likes these. Um, these are great plants to give. They're very easy to care for and I think that they'll fit her lifestyle. Um, none of them necessarily need an excessive amount of light either. So wherever she decides to keep them as long as there's a window, they should be just fine. That is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.